delegate at the National Convention in Philadelphia. So needless to say, I cannot stand Donald Trump. But he will not be impeached by the Republicans as long as they have the majority. Sixteen intelligence agencies have offered no proof that the Russians hacked the election. In fact, former intelligence agents like Ray McGovern and William Binney dispute this. Even so, our CIA interfered in 80 elections and overthrew three democratically elected leaders. 20 years ago, Time Magazine did a cover story on how our advisors worked to... No, I don't have to ask the question. I can make a comment. Worked to ensure that Yeltsin won the election in Russia. This is an excuse by Democratic superdelegates for losing the election because I don't have to ask the question. I'm making a comment. Who sabotaged Ber ran a bad candidate who sabotaged Bernie who could have beaten Trump. Now, shut up. You are fomenting a new Cold War with Russia. Trump is mentally unstable. He will start a war to prove he is not in cahoots with Putin. I think that's why he bombed Syria. Democrats will never take back the House in 2018 unless you start using your bully pulpit on Twitter and cable news to talk about the issues that concern the American people, like a living wage, affordable health care, crushing student debt, and free public college. And why didn't the D, here's my question, why didn't the DCCC support James Thompson in Kansas? They didn't give him any money, and he could have beaten, could have beaten Ron Estes. I agree with you, by the way, uh, that um, we can't blame Hillary Clinton's loss on the Russians. What I can tell you, though, right, is the Russians never caused Hillary Clinton never set foot in Wisconsin in the German election. Right. Um, the Russians never caused her to use the word deplorable. Uh, the Russians never caused her to have a private email server when she was like her state. So a lot of things the Russians did do that were strategic errors on her campaign, that were mistakes she made. So I never go around saying that the Russians caused her to lose free election. It's an unknowable fact. What I do know is that I read the classified report. The Russians hacked us last year. No, they didn't! That's a different issue, though, than the one you raised about the Cold War, which I appreciate. I have no problem in having close relations with other countries, uh, whether it's you know Russia or another country. But the issue of whether Trump campaign officials colluded with a foreign power is a very different issue. Because if there was collusion of Trump campaign officials, and if Trump knew about it, he will be impeached. Maybe it's just 127 random coincidences. Maybe there's something there. I don't know. But that's a different issue, right, than the general foreign relations. And it is also true that I'm certain that based on prior historical books, that yes, our government has also engaged in other people's elections. Which, of course, also makes it much more believable, right, that Russia also engages in other people's elections. So Russia is also trying to undermine other democracies and participate in European elections. So this, this happens. But to me, the most pressing matter is did Trump campaign officials collude with the foreign power? And let me just explain to you something that was just sort of mind-blowing to me. Uh, the, the media disclosed that the FBI got a Pfizer warrant on Trump campaign advisor Carter Page. So I'm going to explain to you what that means. Uh, FBI Director Comey testified that for them to submit a request for a warrant to the FISA court, that's a binder that's thicker than his wrist, and it goes before a FISA court judge. These are federal district court judges appointed for seven year terms by the Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court. So this would have been not just any federal district court judge, it would have been a conservative federal court judge. And he sat there, or she sat there, read all this evidence 
They concluded that there was probable cause a Trump campaign advisor was an agent of a foreign power. Think how remarkable that is. We're investigating where all that might be. And by the way, when Donald Trump said that Obama wiretapped him, I was one of the few Democrats that said, you know what? I'm gonna go with that. I want to know, why did officials in the United States believe that either Donald Trump and his associates were agents of foreign power, or why were they committing a crime? That's the only reason you have a wiretap put on you. And I want the president to show us what those wiretaps were and provide us what did people capture and what they get. get. Uh, so we're going to investigate that. I've also called for a special prosecutor. Yeah. Congress cannot tell the Department of Justice to not prosecute. So when Michael Flynn did this remarkable thing and said, hey, I want immunity, it raised all sorts of red flags. And the problem is, Congress cannot tell the Department of Justice not to prosecute Michael Flynn. And let's just take a step back. How amazing is it that the U.S. National Security Advisor is asking for immunity from prosecution? That was a long answer, sorry about that. Okay, uh, next.